It's afternoon, the time when the forest elephants come out to bathe. It's only in the few jungle clearings in the Central African Republic that the shy animals can be observed. Water buffalo graze in the lakes before disappearing again into the forest as evening falls. But this idyllic scene is under threat. The Congo Basin region is going through turbulent times. Political instability, civil wars, they all affect the environment, in part because they open the door to poachers. Heavily armed brigades of rangers are on patrol on this tributary of the Congo River, looking for poachers. They're stationed in the Central African Republic. The troops are part of a cross-border forest protection project run by the Central African Republic Cameroon and the Republic of Congo. We're on patrol on the Sanga River. On the right-hand side is the Central African Republic, and on the left is Cameroon. This is all part of the Tri-National Protected Area. Beyond the Green River Bank is Zanga Sanga, a forest reserve in the Central African Republic. The country was plunged into chaos following a military coup. And poachers took advantage of that. Christian Nadet is the director of the Zanga Sanga Park. He says the death toll among the animals was high. Based on what we observed in the Zanga Sanga Reserve, the whole thing was well organized. The poachers, presumably from Sudan, attacked the Sanga Bay clearing in early May. They destroyed a lot. The Worldwide Fund for Nature helps supervise the protected area. But apart from the local workers, all the conservationists have had to leave the park because it's simply become too dangerous. Johannes Kirchgatter is in charge of the Sanga project. He says rebels plundered more than just the land here. Unfortunately, they also hit our project base, which runs a very important WWF project in Zanga Sanga, an absolute rainforest and jungle paradise. Here, for instance, they plundered the offices of the WWF and the National Park Authority. But much worse is that along with the rebels, poachers entered the park, armed to the teeth with machine guns, and in just a few days they massacred the elephants. The escalating violence is also threatening research being done in the region. Thomas Breuer studies guerrillas on behalf of a United States-based conservation organization. In order to reach these reclusive animals, he and his colleagues have to go deep into the jungle. The forests of the Congo Basin provide a habitat for tens of thousands of the primates. Gorillas live in family groups and move through the jungle searching for food. They're still relatively safe within the protected area. The researchers try to identify the gorillas by using photocards so they can keep track of their activities and fates. The animals face many threats. There are a number of dangers for gorillas, including diseases. So we researchers try to prevent passing on our diseases by wearing masks. And large parts of the forest are being cleared. The trade in bushmeat also threatens gorillas. And there's increased pressure on the population due to the global trade in live animals, especially on the Asian market. That makes the work of the researchers and conservationists in the region all the more important. They are the ones who often risk their lives to gather information and publish it. A lot of money is needed to protect the biodiversity in the Congo Basin. The International Climate Protection Initiative and Germany's KFW Reconstruction Loan Bank have provided millions for these efforts. 
These funds can, for instance, help protect the Sitatunga. The swamp-dwelling antelope lives only in the forests and wetlands of Central Africa, and it's threatened with extinction. For the elephants of Africa, however, the future looks bleak. Poaching in Zanga Sanga is just the tip of a gigantic iceberg. Due to the growing demand for ivory, especially in Asia, in the emerging economies of Southeast Asia, poaching in Africa is increasing massively, especially of elephants, but also of rhinos. If the poaching keeps up at this pace, then we have to assume that there will be practically no elephants left in 20 years. Some 25,000 elephants are killed by poachers in Africa each year. It will take even greater efforts than are being made at the moment to make sure the fight against the bloody trade in ivory is not lost.